While greeting the patient, secretly inspect the skin and symmetry of the face and neck. To perform the extraoral intraoral exam, the patient should be seated, supporting their own head, not resting it on the headrest. Uh, intraor and extraor examination. Um, this is just where I fill around on the outside and then I'll go inside the mouth and fill around just for any kind of lumps, bumps, anything abnormal. Okay. Only the fingertips are used to palpate structures during an extraoral intraoral exam due to the higher sensitivity of the fingertips. To inspect this area, ask the patient to slightly tilt their head forward, stand behind them, and ask them to hold their hair up if necessary. Position fingertips at the base of the skull, palpate in circular motions along the hairline. While standing behind the patient, palpate these areas in a circular motion. While standing behind or to the side of the patient, use your thumb and index finger to compress the midline of the mandible. Palpate these areas using a circular motion. Ask the patient to turn their head away from the side you are checking. Grasp the muscle between your fingertips and thumb. Next, in that same position, palpate behind the muscle using your fingertips. While standing to the side of the patient, or while standing behind them, palpate the area above the clavicles using a circular motion with your fingertips. While standing behind the patient, compress the tissue of the cheeks against the cheekbones using a circular motion with your fingertips. To inspect this area, first locate the thyroid cartilage by stabilizing the thyroid with one hand and palpate with the other, then switch sides. Asking the patient to swallow during this procedure may help with locating and palpating the thyroid gland as it moves up and down during swallowing. Locate the TMJ in front of the tragus of the ears. Ask the patient to open and close, then shift the jaw from side to side. Notate any popping, clicking, grinding, or deviations. Visually inspect the lips and vermilion border. Perform a preliminary visual intraoral inspection.
Palpate the lower lip by compressing it between your index finger and thumb. Palpate the buccal mucosa by compressing it between a fingertip on the inside against one on the outside of the cheek. Palpate the upper lip by compressing it between your index finger and thumb. Visually inspect the floor of the mouth. Ask the patient to touch the tip of their tongue to the palate. Palpate the floor of the mouth by using one fingertip intraorally and compressing the tissue against the fingertips opposite extraorally. Visually inspect the ventral of the tongue. Have the patient touch the tip of the tongue to the palate. Ask the patient to protrude tongue and grasp it with gauze. Visually inspect the dorsal of the tongue. While continuing to grasp the tongue, inspect the lateral borders of the tongue by pulling the tongue side to side. Finally, palpate the tongue by compressing the tissue between the fingertips and thumb. Carefully inspect all areas of the tongue. Keep in mind that the tongue is a frequent site for oral cancer. Visually inspect the hard and soft palates. Palpate the hard and soft palates. Avoid sliding the finger across the palate, which can cause gagging. Carefully depress the tongue with a mirror. Ask the patient to relax their throat and say ah to visually inspect the oropharynx and tonsils. Be sure to notate any findings in the patient's chart.